Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Ah, if you're uh, new to the channel, consider subscribing as I uh, cover a rebuild here on uh, this 92 YJ. I cover a lot of Jeep repairs and maintenance, how-to videos, a lot of fun stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing some valve lapping on this head here. This head is off of a uh, 1992 Jeep Wrangler YJ. This is obviously an inline six, four liter. Now this Wrangler has what, 150, yeah, 150,000 miles on it. So it's pretty common on these older Wranglers to have a lot of pitting and pretty rough valves. So honestly, to do a valve job, to get the seats correct on something that's really pretty rough like this, uh, the home mechanic really can't do it themselves. They have to take it to a machine shop and have it done there. It's not too expensive. That's the proper way to do it. And if the valves and seats aren't too rough, you certainly can do the lapping yourself. So let's take a look at that. Don't drop it. Stop! <laughs> they had this for a Let's see here, we got our valve lapper, our valve lapping compound, some shop towels, oil, and all of our valves. And this is kind of the old school valve lapping uh, method. Some people really like to use the drill method. If you're looking into valve lapping, I'm sure you've seen that, where you put the valve in there, uh, put a little piece of rubber tubing on the end of it with a drill. I don't know, especially for beginner valve lappers, I, I think this is the best way, it's my personal opinion, you really need to start out by learning to do it by hand because there's a lot that, there, there's some feel that goes into it and you're also listening to what the valve sounds like when it's seating down in there, the grinding compound, the noise that's making, and you can't hear or feel any of that with the drill. So that's, uh, that's my little plug on doing it by hand and why I can see that uh, doing it by hand, especially when you're starting out, is a really good method. Something that uh, everybody should probably learn, well, if you're doing valves. So we obviously have all of our valves numbered and labeled. We're going to keep them in order. We've got a, uh, a coarse compound and a fine compound. We're going to start out with the coarse compound. And what we're going to do is just put a little tiny bit of that right around the edge here where the seat is going to go. Now the new seat we're going to try to grind on this. This little seat right along here, that's what we're going to be freshening up. And this is actually part two of a series of videos of doing this uh, valve lapping. I'll link part one in the description below and put a little card up here so you can go check that out. And that just explains how I cleaned the head, how I cleaned the valves, and kind of got them to this point now where we're ready to do our valve lapping. There was a lot of uh, caked on, burnt on carbon and oil deposits on these. And I just had to get this all cleaned up and so that was step one. So be sure to go check out that video to get you to this point where you're ready to, to do your uh, valve lapping. All right, so I got my uh, intake. No, this is exhaust. All right, so I got my exhaust valve here. The very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little suction cup on my lapper here and I got a damp rag over here. I'm just gonna get it a little wet and stick it on here. And I'm doing this before I put the valve lapping compound on there because you, you don't wanna get any of that compound underneath this suction cup. So if you do that, you're, you're hosed, you're done. It's not going to stick. You're going to have to wipe everything off and start over. So get a good suction on there, then you're ready to go. Now we're going to take our, our coarse compound. It's kind of coming out of this tube faster than I wanted. But we're going to put just a little bit on this edge right here. Doesn't take very much. And once we have a little bit of compound all the way around, Put a little bit of oil on your valve stem here. You don't want to be putting the valve stem into the valve guide dry. You want to have it oiled up. And I'm being very careful not to touch the valve lapping compound at all and get any of it down onto the stem. You don't want any grains of that down on this stem at all. We'll slide this in place. So as I said earlier, we're using the coarse compound right now. We'll come back and use the fine compound next. So what I'm doing is I'm putting just a little bit of downward pressure here as I'm grinding the valve. And I'm kind of popping it up a little bit, turning it about 90 degrees before I set it back down. And what that does is as you're spinning it here like that, 
doing your grind your valve lapping some of the uh, compound kind of breaks down and some of it kind of squeezes out when you pop it back up and turn it it kind of pulls a little bit of that, that grinding compound back in you can set it back down and continue we're just going to do this a few times with the coarse compound And you'll hear some complaints of people saying that the suction cups don't stick very well. And yeah, you can battle that a little bit, but if you get the surface of the valve, uh, the valve face really clean, I kind of cover uh, cleaning the valves in my other video in part one of this series. So go check that out. You keep that real clean, keep your suction cup clean, make sure there's no valve lapping compound getting underneath the suction cup, and you'll have pretty good success. Now try to listen real careful to the sound of this, starting out real coarse, real rough sounding, and then it just getting smoother and smoother. Take a listen to this. And once I'm happy with it, so we're just going to very carefully lift it out, not touching the stem to the edge at all, and wipe it off. And we're also going to take that clean rag and wipe out our new seat here, making sure that we get all the valve lap lapping compound out of there. When we're all done, we're going to uh, wash this to make sure that we get every little bit out because we don't want any of this left over down in there and ruin our, uh, all of our hard work here. All right, now we're going to repeat that same process with the uh, fine grinding com compound here. So you can see here we still have some pitting there. I'm going to hit this a few more times with that coarse uh, grinding compound, see if we can clean that up even better. So this is that same valve. I've hit it a couple more times with that coarse valve lapping compound. And we're making some good progress on the pitting we had going on there. And yeah, this is a little bit of a tedious process doing it by hand, but I don't know, I just think there's uh, some good value in having the skill of uh, knowing what it's like to do it by hand. And the drill method certainly be a lot faster and easier, less uh, elbow grease, right? But, uh, I don't know, if you have the time, I think this is definitely a good way to do it, a good skill to have. I'm going to hit this a few more times with this coarse compound. Making some real good progress though on those, uh, the little bit of pitting that I had there. That was real good to see. But it just requires a little more, a little more work, but that's okay. Hanging out in the shop, it's always fun. Drill method, definitely be faster. If you haven't seen my other video, I'm gonna take these valves out and what they look like and all of the crud built up on them. It's amazing that I was getting any compression at all in this engine. I wasn't just, uh, I know the valves were leaking, uh, the uh, rings on the pistons are leaking, had all kinds of messes going on, but that's why we're doing a rebuild, right? All right, let's take this out and see what it's looking like. Oh yeah, it's starting to look much better already. So that seat is starting to look much better. We're getting rid of all that pitting. Still a little bit left. I'm gonna hit it another time here. I heard somebody say, uh, it's like trying to start a fire with no result. Valve lapping by hand. You know, you're doing the stick twisting, right? Follow me. Yeah, it doesn't seem like much uh, reward, but boy, for what I can see on that uh, pitting on these valves, it's working. It's doing the job. All right, I think that's enough with the coarse grit. Let's take it out and See what we got, make sure all that pitting's gone. Oh yeah, much better. So 
Let's hit it with some of that uh, fine grinding compound and uh, polish it up. When I'm all finished with this, I'm going to take the head and all the valves and give them a good bath, give them a good washing with soap and water. Make sure I get all the little bits of compound out of here because, you know, like I said earlier, you don't want any of this residual stuff left over in there causing problems with your engine. So let's move on to the uh, fine compound. So you kind of get the basic idea of how to do this. Uh, it's pretty easy. I think uh, most any home mechanic can do this. Don't be intimidated by it seeming like a too big of a project or something. It's really not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, I hit it a couple times with the fine grit compound there. See what we got. Oh, that's looking pretty good. All right, so that's the uh, basic idea on uh, lapping new seats into your valves there. So, what, one down, 11 more to go. If you have any tips or tricks or things you've done with lap, uh, valve lapping, not lap, lap valving, valve lapping. Leave a comment down below. Let me know those things. Uh, I'd love to hear about it and some of my viewers might uh, gain something from you as well. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.